guys welcome to distinguished diva this is adeola naomi from distinguished diva channel and i'm just here for a book review that i've promised a long time ago so this is a poetry book by another woman of color called ruby car oh sorry about that so just gonna turn this off the name of the book is called milk and honey it's basically a poetry book but until you open it you think it's just a regular poetry which is not uh the beginning says for the arm that holds me and then she goes and divide the book into four chapter four sections not chapters specifically uh the hurting the loving the breaking and the healing it's one of those books where so the first part which is called the hurting have issues around sexual history family issues abuse so it's very deep and Sometimes I think triggering to some people, I guess. For me, it was a beautiful work of art, so I loved it. But to some people, I've heard people say I can't read some of the poem in the first part. Uh, the hurting, so I'm going to just pick one for you and read. Uh, so just so you understand what it means. So the first part, the hurting have, you tell me to quiet down because my opinion make me less beautiful. But I was not made with a fire in my belly. So I could be put out. I was not made with a lightness on my tongue, so I could be easy to swallow. I was made heavy, half blade, half silk, difficult to forget, and not easy for the mind to follow. That is such a beautiful poem. And the heart, uh, the second part of the book is called the loving. So it's where the author Rupi kind of embraced herself and where she start understanding like how a couple being in a relationship the beauty of being in a relationship and being with someone else and it says one of the poem from the loving is you've touched me without even touching me that's so beautiful if you're a sucker for poetry like i am like if you really whenever i read poems they take me to a place of feeling everything and embracing them and they're super heightened so yeah this is beautiful let's go to the third part of the poem that is the breaking that's also a bit deep raw unfiltered uh so one of the poems say you think i was a city big enough for a weekend getaway i am the town surrounding it the one you've never heard of but always passed through there was no neon lights here no skyscrapers or status but there is thunder for i make bridges tremble i'm not street meat i am made jam i am homemade jam think thick enough to cut sweet stairs then your lip will touch i'm not police siren i'm the crackle of a fireplace i would burn you and you still couldn't take your eyes off me because I'll look so beautiful doing it, you would blush. I'm not a hotel room, I am home. I'm not the whiskey you want, I'm the water you need. Don't come here with expectation and try to make a vacation out of me. <laughs> and you know what I love about the book uh, is the illustration. For example, one of my favorite is in the first few pages. It says, you have been taught your legs are a pit stop for men that needs a place to rest. A vacant empty, body empty enough for guests, but no one ever comes and is willing to stay. That is so beautiful. Okay, let's get to the third part, which is where every woman will love to be. Have I done the break-in? Yes, I've done the break-in. The third part. So basically, you understand this by the dark pages that started. Uh, the fourth part is the healing so it's basically poems around self-love empowering yourself this is not a self-help book but it's a beautiful prose uh, yeah I just opened a page that I really love look at the illustration of a storm a uh, wind and it says your body is a museum of natural disaster you can grasp how stunning you can grasp how stunning that is I think what I really love about this book is that it was self-published in 2014 and now of course it's public first first pub, uh, self-published and now of course there is a publishing house and she's actually going around and doing book signing uh what i love are the illustration and how raw and natural unfiltered everything in the book is a feeling you will feel as a reader that the writer felt 
and how you see this is like she said the book uh the beginning there was a point where she says my heart woke me crying last night how can i help i beg my heart said write the book like this is how you start the book and then she finishes the book with <laughs> I feel like it's the most incredible book to be honest so she finishes the book with a poem that I really really think resonate with so many people at least for me it was a beautiful place to finish it it says you slip me open in the most honest way there is to split a soul open and force me to write at a time I was sh sure I could not write again if you're an artist like a creative uh, this book will just take you to so many places. I think that's what I love most about it, that it takes you to places and it's just home for me. Like, I'm a person who really loves poetry, so maybe that's it. But if you have, like, a perception of poetry that is totally not true, I'll say give this book a try. And also support Woman of Colour. She is an incredible, beautiful woman, Rupi Kaur, and I think what she did in this book is literally share herself and her soul with the reader and i'm gonna share one more point that i really love so it says your art is not about how many people like your work your art is about if your heart likes your work if your soul likes your work you are with yourself and you must never trade honesty for relatability i mean come on and then it says to all young poets i really feel like poetry is not dying but people uh poetry is on uh i don't know misrepresented and misunderstood a lot of people think poetry is just old and crazy but if you find a writer a poet who have beautiful prose and can be vulnerable enough to share that vulnerability with you then you understand how beautiful poetry is yeah so what i love so to round up this is a great book if you want to feel vulnerable in a beautiful way if you want to feel how it, it means to be hurting to be breaking to be healing and to be loving so it's all of this together all the complexity of being a human being the complexity of being a woman in a world where things do happen and life do happen so and i just feel like i should so i'm one of those people who fold books when they find something they like this one for example i'm gonna read the last one for you as a way to close up so maybe i should read this when you are broken and he has left you do not question whether you were enough the problem was you were so enough you was not able to carry it <sighs> I mean, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I kind of carry this book around everywhere. There are so many other book poems that women of color that I really love their work. But Rupi Kaur is just one of those people that... And the book is so small. So if you really want to be in touch with you and just feel all the feels, I, I mean, I carry it around everywhere. So I really love it. And I really hope you guys do and enjoy this review. Pick it up on Amazon. I'm going to try to find a link or you can just find it on amazon or any bookstore really it's less than a dollar uh ten dollar uh so yeah pick it up read it love through it heal through it and the next poetry review i might be doing might be something around neon soul of alex hell another woman of color beautiful writer and poet and also i'm currently reading questions from ada i think i've been reading that book forever because she's nigerian and she just resonates so much with the nigerian in me so yeah thank you so much namaste ciao